How's it going everyone? It's Louis Crypto here. I'm back with another Bitcoin update. Apologies uh, as I didn't make one yesterday. It's just because I'm packing and getting ready to go to Brazil for a month. So that's going to be exciting. I'm going to Brasilia and then also the Amazon for about a week or two. So that's going to be absolutely lovely. I will still get uh, updates out to you guys, but it just might be less than usual and they will be shorter than usual. Today, we're going to go through where Bitcoin is headed to. Of course, we know that it's bullish, regardless of if it's coming down in the short term at the moment. Where it's come down to, which is this blue moving average and this purple box here, is exactly where we called for price to dump back down into. You are still holding these moving averages. So it's going to give you one last chance to break past this purple area over here, which is also that 20 moving average on the daily time frame. However, if this has failed to be reclaimed, this is resistance. And so eventually price should give in over here. And I would still look at 34, 30, uh, 33 to 35K as my targets to the upside, even if we do break down over here, because we are still keeping those targets valid as long as we're maintaining this low over here. We can see that the 200 EMA is sitting right there on the golden pocket where we've created the reversal wave. So you can uh, afford to come down to this area and we will continue with the uptrend. We can see that is what happened last time when we lost these moving averages. We came into the 200 and that's what's held us up in this uptrend. So even if we do get rejected over here, lose this key area of support, come below the one fib level and head down to the 200 EMA, it is totally fine. Technically speaking, you can go down there as long as you don't lose that, it's all fine. So really and truly, as long as we're maintaining 24.7K, really uh 24.7k that eventually you will get up there eventually it's not an instant thing right now it looks like it wants to break lower we're going to now find out if it can break past this area back test it as support over here and then look for continuation to these higher price targets in the eventual future not that it would happen overnight or in one week either so not only uh, are we analyzing bitcoins uh current price and where it could potentially go to today as I've already shown you guys. I'm also going to review some past trades uh, that I've done either last night or in the last week. As you know, we have been profiting very nicely on Bitcoin trades in the in the recent weeks. So just want to show you some just so you can see that we are profit profiting. And if you want to be taught how to do it, you just hit me up on my Twitter, where that's to join the community of over 90 people and growing. Let's get that to 100. Um, We've also got a course that you can do in your own time. This is how you get free access to my chat for your first three months, followed by 50% discount permanently after that, as well as one-to-one -one coaching if that's something of interest, which also gets that three months of chat, as well as the course totally free for the, yeah, and you have that for the rest of your life, of course. Once that's yours, that's yours. So I'm going to guess now st uh, scale down to these trades. So one on this chart, there's two on another chart. And uh, I've already actually gone through this one, uh, so I won't go into it too much. But it was a shoulder, head and shoulder. We had an inverse head and shoulders pattern. The neckline was also that 20 moving average. And we're basically waiting for a break past this level on the lower scale time frame. So what we would essentially do is you'd find the pattern on the higher time frames. Let me just see if it was on uh, the one hour as well. So yeah, I think it was a little bit clearer on the one hour time frame. What I was taught and what I do tell my students is that for crypto, it's nice to look at the one hour time frame because the crypto market is 24 seven in comparison to the stock and Forex market that does actually have closing times and is not open during the weekend. So with Bitcoin and crypto, of course, never closing, this is why we would scale down instead of maybe the four hour down to the one hour time frame. And so we can see a lot of the things clearer as, yeah, we've got uh, more volatility over here. We can see that this low was lost, reclaimed, confirmed as support. That is where the entry was. And then looking for us to return back up to our range high over here in which we took our yeah, profits at. And we can see that very nicely. It did reverse. I do teach this in my course, what you need to look out for and the exact reasons for your entry as well as how to place your stop loss as well. Or if you did join the chat, there's a lot of people uh, sharing out trade ideas in there as well, as well as myself reviewing trades, posting my investments and when I'm going to sell in the future. And yeah, DCA levels as well. I'm now going to go to this next Bitcoin chart that shows the trades from yesterday and I'm going to zoom in 
on the one hour time frame we can see that we had this very large rally up over here so from this low up until this point we placed those fibs and we were given these key fibonacci levels that we know need to hold as support so it's this whole area over here that is support we can see after maxing out over here starts to come back down we did return to that level and hold it held it very nicely there was liquidity down over here maybe if i scale down to the 15 minute we can see this a little bit clearer. This is where we actually found support on the moving averages. This is how we actually flipped bullish over here. So that is essentially where a lot of stop losses were, where there was a lot of liquidity. And the market is like pretty much doing this, like, yeah, run by either the banks or the algorithms. And the algorithms are here to take out as much money as possible out of, out, out of us. So it's going to most likely hit as many stop losses as possible. So it pretty much just came to stop loss hunt. All those buys that were placed from these points over here were just getting uh, taken out, essentially stop loss, stop loss, and eventually down here. Pretty much because there were a lot of sell positions below uh, that point. So it triggers them, hit maybe it goes down a little bit. And then, yeah, once it's had enough, it's grabbed all that liquidity of the people selling. And it's like, you know what? I'm not going to continue low. I've grabbed all your money. Let's reverse. And then it looks like it's going to continue up and break the high. And then we reverse. So yeah, this is something that I've been looking at uh, recently, uh, more about uh, yeah liquidity and whatnot. And just, yeah, looking at the, those swings uh, rather than thinking that it's still, yeah all uh, emotionally based or yeah retail is driving this. It's not. It's uh, the banks and also uh, um, uh, liquid. Yeah, just li uh, liquidity grabs as well. So we got that one down over here. Stop loss below this red candle or on that red candle, the lowest red candle here and then take profit pretty much uh, essentially back at this higher point over here. I saw there was an imbalance and then we were taking it into the pretty much the start of that. And then uh, to, uh, and then this following trade over here, which was set when price was in and around this area. I thought that we would pump one more time to meet this target right over there on these two wicks over here, which we did. And I, I set a bait, essentially a limit order. So pretty much just guessing that it wouldn't go up here, guessing that it would go into this area, but not up to the point above that uh, point over there. And then we can see that price did reverse and came down to the 200 EMA over here very nicely. But I was anticipating that we did come back down to the golden pocket over here. As we can see to the left, it was once resistance. It was once support. And we can see it was once support over here, which when we came down initially, we bounced from. So it's in and around that area where I wanted my take profit. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it from me today. If you want to do these similar things and profit along with all of us in the chat, there's over 90 plus people in there that are sharing their own, own trade ideas. It's a community where everyone's learning from each other. I would love to see more of you joining, not enough of you, uh, of the public do join. It's mostly students, probably like 99% of the people in there are past students of mine. And yes, you can actually get three months free in the chat. You just need to become a student. That's either getting the course, which you can do in your own time, and uh, which is six hours long teaching from zero knowledge, or you can do the one-to-one -one coaching, which includes the course as well as the three months free uh, in the chat, as well as five to or 10 hours worth of one-to-one -one coaching with myself, where we will master all these strategies together. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and comment as over half of you aren't, and I'll catch you in the next Bitcoin update. Cheers.